am coming at you from my in-laws neighborhood it's actually a community it's huge in East Texas and I am out walking there are cars driving by me constantly it's never gonna quiet down because I'm on the main road this community is so huge that I can get lost really easily so I know how to make it to the entrance and back <laughs> so that's basically what I'm doing which I think it's about a mile and a half up to the gate so then it would be like a three mile round trip but anywho I'm out walking I thought I would check in with you guys we had a lovely Christmas I did not post a vlog on Christmas Day or of Christmas Day sorry about that I took some footage and I'll probably insert a little bit of it here but it was a lovely Christmas Day um, but there wasn't a whole lot I thought to to show you that you didn't already know was gonna happen the kids got up around 7 and saw what Santa Claus brought and went through stockings and played with that stuff for a while and then um, I fixed a little bit of snacky breakfast some meat and cheese and nuts and fruit and we snacked on that while we opened packages the kids really enjoyed the scooters that they got and it was in the 50s and sunny on Christmas Day so they got to play outside with those a little bit and then we had friends over in the evening and I spent most of the evening in my happy place which is in my kitchen with a glass of wine or a cocktail and just enjoying the company in the kitchen and uh, making dinner for everybody and we had such a fun time on Christmas night with a couple of other staff families at our house and then the morning after Christmas we hopped out of bed and got around and finished cleaning up so that we could leave the house nice and clean and picked up and take out the trash and all that so we're coming home to a clean house and then we left for my parents and spent a day there in Oklahoma City and then yesterday we came down here to Texas to be with my husband's family so that brings us <laughs> that brings us to here and now okay sorry I had to switch hands <laughs> Um, because I just use my phone and I don't even have like a selfie stick or anything I have a little tripod for filming some videos but my arm gets tired after holding it for a few minutes but I'm out walking um, I did go for a two-mile jog on Christmas Day and that was the end of my Christmas run streak um, because the next day the day after Christmas I did not jog let me tell you it was hard to break that mentally I was thinking oh I could just do one mile I could keep going maybe I could keep going through the new year and you know what it's one of those things where I just really needed to let go of my perfectionism because I knew that if I don't pick a time to stop on my own terms I'm gonna like beat myself up <laughs> trying to keep up with this challenge but it did what it was supposed to do. I feel like I had basically, I think 32 straight days of jogging at least one mile. There were several times when I did more than that, probably about half the time I did more than that. I should add up how many miles I ran total. I bet it's close to 50, 50 miles altogether. There were lots of times when I ran more than two and there was one time when I ran the equivalent of a 5K, which is just over three miles. And I feel like that really helped me. Um, it was a very accessible goal. It was a very attainable goal because just doing one mile was very, um, very, ex um, what's the word? Attainable for me, very achievable. And, you know, lots of times whenever I was like, oh, I don't really want to do it, but I only have to do one mile. Then once I hit the one mile mark, I'd be like, well, I can go a little longer or I've jogged, but now I'll walk a little bit. And it was just nice to have something to take my mind off of. How am I going to deal with all the food indulgences? It was nice to have like a non-food challenge. So I'm very happy with that. But Christmas Day was my last day for the run streak. I took a break the next day. But then yesterday, I went out at my parents and jogged two and a half miles before we left. So I got a little bit of exercise there. And for the next few days, Till we get to the new year while we're out of town and out of our routine I'm just trying to get some activity today I decided just to walk I'm gonna try to get at least three miles it would be nice if I could get four or five um, we'll just see but that's what I'm doing food wise I'm doing okay again I'm still very happy with the way that I've navigated this season um, this time last year I was in maintenance and I feel like I was still struggling with 
being mindful, you know, and choosing the things that were really worth it and not having one indulgence and letting it lead to 10. Yeah, I was still struggling with that. This year, I think I've been a lot better about choosing the days I'm gonna indulge, choosing the meals I'm gonna indulge in, the events that are really worth it to me. And also on the times whenever it's not necessary, just choosing better things, eating vegetables, drinking water, having a salad, you know, a simple meal that's low in points. I've done a better job of that this year. As far as the scale, I haven't been able to make it to a WW meeting, or I've chosen not to make it to a WW meeting in a couple weeks. I went to two, the first two weeks in December, um, and then I didn't go the week that I was sick, and I decided not to break my neck, or not to break my back, or bend over backwards. That's the, that's the reason I'm looking for. I decided not to bend over backwards getting to a meeting during the week of, of Christmas. It was just, it's been crazy this week. So. I have been on, you know, my home scales, my parents' home scale, uh, my in-laws' home scale here, so I know that it's a little bit um, different. It's not the Weight Watcher scale, but in case you were wondering, I'm bouncing around now in the 144 to 145 range, which I am okay with. I said I wanted to end the, if I get out of the holiday season in the 143 range, I'll be very happy, but even if I'm within a pound or two of that, I will still consider that a win compared to how I've worked you know, the program and manage this season in previous years. And as long as things don't go completely off the rails in the next few days, I should be fine. I decided that the next time I go to a WW meeting, given our schedule, is probably going to be the 3rd or 4th of January. So that'll be my first weigh-in for the month, which means I need to be under 147 to weigh in at my lifetime, in my lifetime range. I do not think that's going to be a problem. Um, and also, I know I will have had a few days at that point kind of back on track, so I'm hoping that I will still hit that goal of being 143-something going into the new year. We'll just see. Speaking of the new year, I have been um, thinking about, you know, this channel and what I want to do and what I want to do in January and what I want to do long term. Um, so I would love some help with that. First of all, thank you so much to those of you who watched all of my vlogs through December and watched us go through Vlogmas. I know that a lot of people are subscribed to my channel for WW content, and there wasn't a whole bunch of that in December. I more tried to, um, I know a lot of my vlogs were really chatty, and <laughs> just me chatting about navigating the season, so there was a little bit of WW content from that perspective. But I also know, um, that I did a lot of stuff with my family. I showed my kids a lot. I showed stuff that was going on at the church. Um, I just tried to kind of familiarize you guys a little bit more with our family and our situation. So thank you. I know lots of you watched several of them, if not all of them. I know some of you checked in when you could. I tried to title them so that if you were looking for just my weigh-ins or just my meal plans, you could find those easily. Um, I enjoyed it and I appreciate your support going through that. Um, but we're coming into January, and I'm just wondering what you guys want to see. Um, I, I have debated whether or not just to go back to my regular filming schedule for a little while, which was a grocery haul and meal plan once a week, once a week a weigh-in or a check-in on WW, at least one what I eat in a day, and usually one just daily vlog, like family vlog. Um, but I also dabbled with, do I want to do a series that's like for WW newbies or recommitting to WW and do things like how to work freestyle with a family. You know, like how do I make my meal plan knowing that I'm on freestyle but also making things that my kids will eat and that my kids will like, that my husband will eat. Um, what are some go-to breakfasts for me? What are some go-to lunches for me? What are some non-food <laughs> Weight Watcher must-haves? Or what are some pantry must-haves? What's always in my pantry? What's always in my fridge? Like I thought about doing a series like that. Um, but let me know. The other thing that I'm interested in is besides WW content, what is something that you guys want to see? Um, I really don't want to make my channel be only Weight Watchers content or WW content. I want to do some other things. Um, you know, that's actually going against <laughs> what everybody says you should do to grow a YouTube channel. They say you should uh, niche down, that you should pick like one specific content area and talk about that if you want to grow. But 
you know, what happens if a couple years from now, I mean, I, I plan to do WW and be a lifetime member forever, but you know, things change. What if something happens and that's not something I'm doing a couple years from now and I lose my whole subscriber base? Um, that's not, I you know, I hope that doesn't happen, but I just don't want to be, you know, a one trick pony type channel. So let me know if there's other content that you like or that you enjoy seeing. I do think I'm going to film tomorrow with my husband. My husband and I are going to Dallas for a couple of nights, just the two of us. We're leaving the kiddos. That's kind of our Christmas gift to each other. We decided not to buy big Christmas gifts. We just did stockings and um, then he and I are going to spend a few nights in Dallas. And I thought on the way there, we would film a um, 2018 financial video, like our wins and fails, our goals for 2019. Financers are something that we talk about a lot with each other, um, you know, and try to stay on top of. So I thought I might just film that with him because we talked about it on the way here. We talked about how did 2018 go for us? How are we closing out the year? What are some things we did well? What are some things we still need to work on? And then what are our 2019 goals? And I thought maybe we would just do a little chatty vlog on the way to Dallas and share that with you guys. Anywho, that's where I am. Sorry if this is all over the place and I'm huffing and puffing as I'm walking. <laughs> Hoping that I'm not lost and all the cars are driving by probably thinking I'm crazy But you know what that is one one I've gotten a little bit better about not caring about what strangers driving by think about me holding my phone up and talking into it So yay <laughs> Maybe I'll make it in this YouTube thing after all um, But that's where I am Feel free to leave me a comment. I would love to know um, what you want to see from me in January or what you want to see for me in, in the coming year what is helpful to you um, what you find useful. I know that that may be something different for everybody and that's okay. You know, I don't expect everybody who subscribed to my channel to watch every video. And that's why I try to title them in a way that you know if it's what you're looking for. So that's where I am. I hope you guys are enjoying um, the last few days of this holiday season and this holiday break. That you're getting some time with family, that you're getting some rest. Drink your water, get out for a little bit of exercise, even if you're indulging in the food area. Do those couple of things, and I have found that they have helped immensely. So, I will check in with you guys another time. As always, thank you. I'd love it if you thumbs up and you subscribe. You guys, I'm so close to 700 subscribers. I think I'm like 11 subscribers away from 700. I would love to hit that benchmark by January 1st, by 2019. So. Help me out if you can. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed and you like this, or if you're looking for WW content, or you just like, you know, young stay at, you know, stay at home, well, I guess I'm not young, but stay at home mom content, please subscribe. Help me hit that benchmark. And Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Check in with you soon. <laughs>